can't get to it up there. I don't think so. Gee, I hope that's not lead-based paint. Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Sounds like the cat's caught a moose up there. Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? What do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. Another specimen. Hey, look, a skunk. Humans, you can't do this. This is an escape proof facility. Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? Lieutenant, I want to ask you something. It may trouble you. Ask away, sir. I can take it. I've got a strong stomach, nerves of steel, bowels of brass. Sir Cannon, son, this is important. Have any of your friends seemed a bit firm lately? Ooh, heck! You mean like non-squishy and non-slimy? That's right. Come closer. I've recently become suspicious that Humans might try to infiltrate us. No! Though basically stupid, they can be tricky. They may be in disguise. Doubt if I could budget. It's the same generator that was in Dr. Fred's lab. It's beyond it's beyond repair. That's how you empty the vacuum cleaner, I guess. Probably just the tentacles winter, uh, winter things. I'm 
not interested in I'm not interested in tentacle I'm not interested in tentacle junk vacuum up mice maybe later Cute little fella. I don't think I can put that in the chronojohn. I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. things could really pop a hamster good. Kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. Run, he just shivers. This ought to warm him up. That sucker go! He just keeps running and running and running. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch! Great! Hoagie! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sludge o -matic. Huh? 
Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... <laughs> you can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Uh-oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go! No, wait! You can't all go in the same stall! Didn't you see the fly? Some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life, listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now, wait just a minute. It's Purple Tentacle! It's Green Tentacle. What was that green? Purple Tentacle behind you! What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronojon. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge matic to touch the sludge matic Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to... Leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Whoa. It wears off. Aha. Run for it. Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Shh! Maybe he won't find us. You who, where are you, human?
Aha! Uh-oh! Take that! And this! Drat! No time for that now. It's way too high. No time for that now. No, the stereo would fall. Hey! Where'd he go? This door appears to be locked. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. You humans are so small-minded. Ha 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 Eek! Run all you like, you insignificant insect. Ha 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 We can't reach it! Just what is it you have against humans, anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes, you'll see what I mean. But humans also created the Sludge-O-Matic, which made you super intelligent. Nonsense. I created that myself and sent it back through time. I knew Fred's mad scientist ego would make him use it. How's that for a paradox? Who, Fred? But there's only one of him. Right. Anyway, you can see why I detest humans. Are you really a future version of Purple Tentacle? Who else would be brilliant enough to invent the Diminuator? Are you more or less intelligent than the Purple Tentacle from our time? The same, but I've had 200 years to think things over. <laughs> Are you sure you're a future version of Purple Tentacle? I said I was, did I not? How is it that you can grow hair without follicles? It wasn't easy, but the secret made me very wealthy. You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? I bet you couldn't hit your own forehead. Nice try.
let's discuss your hatred of humans further. What's to talk about? I detest the whole cackling, hand-wringing lot of you. Sounds like you just hate Dr. Fred. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. Why don't you zap Fred with the ray gun for a change? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Surely we can talk this out. Hmm. Talk? Surely. Wait! You haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its piffling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine! Okay, little fella, mail this to Siberia. Our work here is done. Now we can go home. Kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now, kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. <laughs> <laughs>